Congratulations on the win tonight. Talk about 155 pounds. How do you feel about being here? I feel that I'm in the right weight class. I feel my body working the, in the right track. Feeling amazing. Was a, I could make a, a good performance. It was a close, pretty close and tough fight. But uh, in my mind, I, I, I saw three rounds to me. I, I won three rounds and I could get the win. Daniel Weichel is coming up to 155 as well, his last fight, a, t a title fight. What, were, what did you think about getting him as an opponent as being the first one to, to welcome him to this weight class? Yeah, Daniel, Daniel is a tough opponent. I think um, he's the best featherweight. He, he, Daniel and Patrizio Pitbull. So it was, uh, I think it was the biggest victory in my career. So um, it was good to was good to prove to myself that I'm um, that uh, I deserve it and that I belong to the best in the world. Did the fight play out the way that you thought it would when you were game planning for him? Yeah, it was. Uh, I knew that Daniel he tried to take me down in the first round, but uh, suddenly he he saw that he couldn't fight on the ground. So I was my 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 coaches. They say. He doesn't want to to stay on the ground with you, so just try, do do the bad, do your best, and stay on the feet. That's what I did. Was there anything he did that surprised you in the fight? Not at all. No, it was I was expecting everything. I was ready for for everything. So, cool. How do you feel health wise coming out of it? Do you think you, you could get a quick turnaround? Are you are you looking to fight again soon? For sure, for sure. I think uh, just give me six weeks. I will. I'm not gonna rest. I'm not gonna. Take uh, days off today, tonight, tomorrow will be training again. There's no days off. I will be continue to to train and uh, looking for another match. Do you feel that, that not fighting at featherweight kind of allows you to, to be able to fight more often? Is Are you able to stay healthier? Yeah, for sure. And um, I can't... Uh, I can say that uh, I did a really professional work in the weight cut this time because I was with uh, George Lockhart and his team so I felt better I felt that I can fight more often now so I'm I'm really happy Could you talk about coming into this year fighting on one of the biggest cards of belts were put on this year at the beginning of the year and at the forum against Michael Chandler talk about maybe a couple of adjustments that you've made since the end of that fight and coming into this camp uh, against Feichel a lot of things changed but uh, I can tell you the most important thing, uh, the lesson that I learned, it was uh, more uh, mental, you know. It was a tough fight with uh, the best, I can, I can tell the best opponent in this, in this, in this division. I, I learned a lot. It was, uh, you know, as usual, after the fight, you, you get all bummed out, you get all sad, but it's normal, you gotta learn. You win or learn, and that's what I did. I learned. Tough, tough fight against a really tough opponent tonight in Daniel Veitchel. Maybe tell us what was going through your mind whenever you heard a bit of an odd scorecard reading, especially hearing somebody say 27-30 uh, in favor of him. Tell me what was going through your mind when you heard that. I didn't know what, what, what's going on with this judge, but uh, it was kind of weird, right? right. Um, everybody was... Was was telling me that it was it was kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know what kind of what what, what fight he was watching, but that's okay. I, I won the fight. That's it. <laughs> you talk about maybe wanting to get a quick turnaround and no days off training all the time, and I think you also alluded to George Lockhart and those guys being with you. Uh, tell me what they have done. You know, in terms of making a difference for you and how often that you can possibly fight now in the future. Um, thanks to them being in your corner. I can fight. At least three, four times healthy now, because uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know this kind of work. You know, it's more professional. It's more, uh, it's better. It's better for my body, for my mind. I can fight more often. So um, I really appreciate George Lockhart, Leith, and um, John that that helped me to to make the weight. Congratulations! That was a great fight, a tough fight. Uh, they, in, in MMA, they often say when two grapplers fight each other, it often ends up on the feet because of uh, the stalemate on the ground. 
Were you anticipating using your striking more than usual uh, here tonight? You know, I don't, I don't usually have a, a game plan when it's time to the cage. You got to be ready to, to ever expect it in the fight. So uh, I was waiting for, I knew Daniel, he or the guy will take me down and do nothing just to, you know, or try to, to strike, try to, to beat me up on the feet. So um, I was expecting it was not it was not a, a surprise. I was ready for for this. And this was a really good win for you. Uh, this puts you right back on track with the top guys in the division. Who do you want next? Um, it's hard to say, right? But um, if I can tell, if I if I can pick a a fighter, I would choose um, Ben Henderson. He's a big name. He's a former champion. And uh, I think we are in the same situation, this division, so this is fight that I want. How do you think you match up with Benson? I win. I will yeah. win. Definitely. <laughs> and uh, uh, I asked, um, I asked, um, uh, I'm drawing blanks now, the fighter previous, if he'd maybe want to jump over to Ryzen. Is that something that you might want to do? For sure, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about it. I will discuss with my manager, probably. Yeah. We'll see the surprise for next year. All right.